Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, can you explain the line of code? That is, web driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver. Let me answer. First of all, this web driver is an interface. It's a predefined interface in Selenium. Okay. Then why we have to create something like this? Web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver or new Firefox driver. What's happening with this line? If I have to explain this particular line, Okay, first of all, this web driver is a predefined interface, whereas Firefox driver is a predefined class. You already know in Java that to a particular interface, we cannot create an object. We cannot create something like this web driver driver is called new web driver is not possible. Okay, this is not possible. Okay, even though you import this over the mouse and import this uh, web driver interface from Selenium, you'll get an error. Why? Because interface, you cannot create an object. Okay, in Java, you already know that. To a particular interface, we cannot create an object. So creation of the object is not possible, cannot instantiate, cannot create object for the type web driver. Okay. So to whom we have to create the object? To the classes. Okay. To the classes, like uh, to the Chrome driver class, we can create an object over the mouse. You see, I can import it. You see, no problem with this statement. I can create an object for the Chrome driver class and assign it to the variable of the web driver interface. Or I can create the object for the Firefox driver class. Okay. I can also create an object for the Firefox driver class and assign it to the variable of the same web driver interface. I can create an object for the edge driver class and assign it to the variable of the web driver interface. I can also create an object for the Safari driver class and assign it to the variable of the web driver interface, but I cannot directly create an object for the web driver interface because in Java, we already know that for a particular interface, you cannot create an object. To the classes only, we have to create the object. But there is a possibility that you can create the objects for the child classes and assign to the variable of the parent interface. You see, this Edge driver, Chrome driver, Firefox driver are the child classes of the web driver interface. Let me prove that. For that, I'll open this browser and take you to one website that is selenium.dev. And I'll take you to the downloads page. Scroll down until you see this uh, Selenium clients and web driver language bindings where you see Java here. And here, API docs is there. Click on that API docs. You'll be taken to the API library of the Selenium and click on all classes and search for something known as WebDriver, which is an interface. Okay, search for WebDriver. Just press enter, keep pressing enter until you find this WebDriver, which is an interface. You see, WebDriver is a predefined interface in Selenium and its child classes are Chrome Driver is the child class of the WebDriver interface, Chromium Driver, Edge Driver, Event Firing WebDriver, Firefox Driver, Internet Explorer Driver, Remote WebDriver, Separate, all these driver classes. These are the predefined classes in Selenium, which are the child classes of the WebDriver interface. Since we cannot directly create an object for the WebDriver interface, like WebDriver driver is called new WebDriver, that's not possible. We can we can define the variable with WebDriver, that is WebDriver driver we can define. And to that variable, we can assign the object of this, any of these classes, that's possible, okay? Like this, we can create object for any of this class and assign to the variable of the WebDriver interface. So you got some idea about uh, what is this WebDriver driver is called new Firefox driver, okay? So we'll create the object for the child classes of this web driver interface. That is Firefox driver, Chrome driver, Edge driver, and as into the variable of the web driver interface. So it's all done. But why we have to write like this? I can write something like this, right? You see, I can write like this. Edge driver driver is called Edge driver. This is also fine. Then why we have to specify web driver here? That's also a very important point to know. Okay. I can write Chrome driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. This is also fine. Why I have to say web driver driver is called new Chrome driver? I can directly write like this, right? Chrome driver driver is called to, or I can write like a uh, Firefox driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver. This is also fine. Then what is the use of writing web driver driver is called new Firefox driver? Why I have to specify web driver here instead of Firefox driver? That you have to understand. Okay. To understand that, I'll I'll explain you one program, okay? Why we have to write like this instead of Firefox driver is called new Firefox driver. Why we are writing web driver driver is called new Firefox driver. Let me explain that concept to you now. So let's say I'll write some code like this string browser is equal to let's say Chrome. Okay. String browser is equal to Chrome. Now I'll write the logic if browser dot equals it equals it equals uh, Chrome. Then I'll write the logic like this. That is Chrome driver 
driver is equal to new chrome driver chrome driver driver is called new chrome driver over the most import this okay i'm not writing web driver driver instead i'm writing chrome driver driver is called new chrome driver let's see browser dot equals is equal to firefox in that case i'll write the statement like this firefox driver driver is equal to new firefox driver for the mouse on this Firefox driver and import it from Selenium library. Else if browser dot equals if it is a edge driver, edge browser, then I'll write down for sample. I'll take only these three drivers. Edge driver driver is equal to new edge driver. Okay. Like this, I have written the code. That's fine. That's fine. For the mouse, import it. Now the browser is there. And driver is decided here. Now, if I want to maximize the browser, I have to write like this. Okay. For all this, any of this browser, I have to maximize here, right? Driver dot. I'm not getting. I am not able to access the driver. Why? Because this driver is local to this block. This driver is local to this block. This driver is local to this block. Then how can I access it here? I have to make it global. So if I make it global like this, Chrome driver like this, a semicolon, and remove the Chrome driver here. So here the errors are coming. Okay. Right. This is not possible. You see, if I have to make it global, either it should be Chrome driver. This particular global driver should be either Chrome driver or Firefox driver or Edge driver. But here, can I create an object for the, uh, I can create an object for the Chrome driver and assign it to the variable of the Chrome driver. That's fine. But can I create an object for the Firefox driver and assign it to the variable of the Chrome driver? This is not possible. They are like siblings. Okay. They are at the same level. The child classes uh, variables uh, objects can be assigned to the variable of the parent uh, interfaces or classes. But in this case, Chrome driver and Firefox driver are the same level. So you cannot create an object for the Firefox driver class and assign it to the variable of the Chrome driver, which is not correct also. If you create an object for the edge driver, can you assign it to the variable of the Chrome driver to make it global? That's, that's a problem. So what I will do here is instead of writing, I'll just uh, go back. Instead of doing like this, what I will do is instead of Chrome driver, I'll mention web driver here. To the web driver interface, I can assign the object of any child class. Okay. To the Chrome driver class, I have to assign the object of only Chrome driver class. I cannot assign the object of the Firefox driver class. But to the web driver interface, I can assign the object of the Chrome driver. I can assign the object of the Firefox driver. Okay. I can assign the object of the Edge driver also. That's the advantage. Now I can make it global. Now I'll make, make it global. Hope you are able to understand why we have to write web driver driver is called new. Okay, Chrome driver or Firefox driver or Edge driver, you see, to make this driver global, okay, web driver interface can uh, accept the objects of Chrome driver class, Firefox driver class, and Edge driver class. Any driver class it can accept. Driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Now I can write. Still error is coming. Why? Because here I have to write null. Okay, then error will be gone. Then driver dot get. I can give any application URL. Let's say I'll give this same application URL here. That's it. Run the code. The script will run in the Chrome browser. Okay. The script will run in the Chrome browser. Okay. The, uh, hope you got the idea like why we have to write web driver driver is called new Chrome driver or Firefox driver or Edge driver. This is the reason behind that. Okay. So the complete statement I explained, guys. Complete statement web driver driver is called new Firefox driver. I covered in this session in a detailed manner with all these explanations. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.